Welcome to Credit Card Captain. <laughs> <laughs> well, now that we got the intro out of the way, I want to introduce you guys to the Astor Disaster. This is the Astor boat ramp just on the west side of the county over here. And on this weekend, they've got a thing called Mayhem on Lake George. Now, I didn't get a chance to go out there, but there's a video you guys can watch and see it. But today, we're going to be taking a look at this ramp over here and some of the troubles that lie within it. What's up, y'all? Now, it seems I can't go anywhere without being recognized now. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but here we are. We're going to check out this lander over right here. I sped it up a little bit so you guys could watch this thing try to back in. Now, if it's your first time backing in a jet ski trailer, you got to get straight. That's the key to it. He slithers around like a little snake right there. Look at that thing go. Go back. Forth. Back. Now, the golden rule is to lift up the lift gate. And then you can see what's going on back there. And he's about to give this rail a haircut. Look how close he gets. Oh. Now if you check out the duct tape on those taillights, that's evidence right there that this guy may have had some trouble backing before. Who's what? They're fishing? But every once in a while there's some good redemption here. He comes on short final like that, spins it around. A little more thrust, I got a little squirt going right there. And he sticks it right in there. I'm glad it didn't go crazy. Now I want y'all to check out these airboats out here. Law enforcement, the FWC, the sheriff's office, and all them, they're out here hanging out. And they are not messing around. They've been stopping people left and right as soon as the motor touches the water. But I'll tell you what, I want one of them little whirly bird things right there. Them things look fun. Yep. Here we go. These four boys out here getting a little bit of a talking to from FWC. Probably just a safety inspection. Many times I was seeing that out here. No tickets. Just a quick safety inspection. And don't forget, if you do get a safety inspection, you need to ask them for that sticker. It kind of exempts you for another safety inspection for the next 6 or 12 months. Now look at this one coming in here. The orange vest for a telltale sign. Now this Mako, they're getting a little bit close here. They're towing a jet ski. Let's look over here. Look at this. Now this is just the first hour of the boat ramp out here. I've got a second part that's going to be coming up. You're going to see all these views. Ooh. Watch your back. Watch those, yeah, you your power poles, man. Time to shut it down. Thank you. Thank you. Have sir. fun, yeah, man. These jet boats maneuver like you're standing on ice. They just don't have a lot of control. I guess no boat does really, but they're a little bit worse. Well, the one that almost hit the boat back there, he's over here on the dock over here for whatever reason, ramp camping. And then his buddy comes in over here. These two boats had a lot of trouble out there on the water today. I think this one has some patchwork done to it. One of them does. For whatever reason, he comes in the shallows over here to check on his buddy. One that's broke down over there. They're trying to get this thing started. They can't figure out what's going on. He's smiling and happy. He's got a little squirt popping out there, and he's got jumper cables going from one to the other. I think they thought it was batteries. Now check this out. we got a passenger seat princess over here. 
He knows not to ride butts and nuts, but here he is. Oh, never mind. He's controlling it. He's got a controller there. Put your arms around your lady like that. I like that. That's nice and sweet. Now, one of the guys that was helping out with Broke Down Jet Ski decided he was going to come through the no wake zone or the idle zone a little bit too fast. And FWC was waiting. You can see the sign right there. Well, they hollered at him and told him to come on over here. He's going to delay the inevitable here and do some loop-de-woos and whirly birds. Look at this. He puts it in drive. Does a little spin around. And don't you even think about gassing it. They got about 10 boats out here. He gets them stopped and snuggled up next to that FWC boat right there. This is the equivalent of an adult timeout. And he explains it over there. There's three signs. That one over there. Sign it over here. This one right over here. He draws them one of them air pictorials over there and tells them the sign's kind of rectangular. And you need to slow down and keep it under speed and keep it down to an idle or no weight. No ticket over there, right? You didn't get a ticket? No. No ticket. That's good. Well, sometimes you get lucky and sometimes you don't. If you take a look at this boat right here, look at that right there. That's a boat without a plug. Now, before you get all bent out of shape, I didn't even see it until after the fact, till that boat starts pissing everywhere. Now these guys are out, boat full of ladies and dudes, some of them with mullets, some of them with oversized coolers, and that looks good. Now this guy backs it on out, let's take a look at what this sea fox is going to do right here. He comes off that trailer sideways right there, gives that guy pole a little kiss and then corrects it. And Now the starboard side right over there, there's a little tiny hole, and that's for the bilge. I looked away because he was all smooth and everything. Next thing I know, he's whiskey throttling. These two boats are coming at each other over here. And that big ass pole right there is in the way. That boat's giving a good morning pee right there. That's basically like flushing out your bilge area. You gotta do that every I once in while. And the water came all up to the gas tank and it never does. Have you launched here before? No. Didn't mess up. Next thing I know is he's got someone else in the boat with him. And this guy's dropping in the water right over here to patch that hole up. And like I said, you gotta get one of them checklists. Every time I go fly, I've got one of them checklists there that tells me everything to do. If I forget a critical step, it's gonna cost me. Alright, we had some of the viewers come in over here. These guys over here were hollering. There's, there's credit card captain. He's still out there. I hear y'all hollering out there. I'm like, alright. I told my buddy we met y'all. They're super nice. We had a good conversation. Was it bad? Was and if you've ever been down to this ramp, you can see here there is absolutely nowhere to park and dock your boat. The ramp over there on that side, it has all kinds of cleats on it. And so they expect you to come over there and block the ramp. Now this guy's waving like he's trying to signal someone for an SOS here like Tom Hanks on Castaway. I think he's just trying to let his buddies know he's out here with the ramp. Let's see if we can find him. Yeah, I'm not seeing him around right there. I'm trying to find him, but I can't see him. This damn pole's in the way right here. You can't see all the boats out there. But if you take a look at those numbers, that's how high the water gets here. 
Ah, there he is. He's out there in the middle coming in. He's got that black trim and black top coming in. I got the lady captain here behind the wheel of this one. And she's coming in nice and smooth. That's what you want. When she guides it in nice and slow like that, you know it's not going to be bad. The trailer's a bit deep, I think. But I don't know. These boats over here, this ramp, it's a little bit different from what I'm used to. All in all, that's pretty nice. Yeah, if you could hit those bunks on there, it'd guide you straight in. You wouldn't have to worry about all that sideways stuff. And you'd be set. Now back out here, there's a whole line of people trying to get in. And while they're doing that, I'm going to spin around here and let you guys take a look at the views over here. On the left-hand side over there, there's a tugboat out there. It's actually pretty cool. This ramp's kind of nice. If you want to come over and get yourself into some fresh water, you just got to come over on a weekday. Sometimes the weekends are busy. Parking's limited. You get to see airboats and all the other fun, crazy stuff that you see if you went out in the country somewhere. Alligators, rattlesnakes, moccasin. And we'll have a few more videos from the Astro Disaster over here. Make sure you subscribe and hit that bell button. Check out the links in the description below.